you guys. It's Thursday. Uh, thanks for joining us and keeping with us. Um, I'm going to read a passage from 1 John, 1 John 1, 8, and 9. Uh, let's go there now. It says, If we claim that we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But catch this. Here we go. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all wickedness. See, here's the thing, guys, is uh, sin is universal. You're not going to escape it. Uh, you're not going to avoid it. Uh, you're not going to overcome it by yourself. But the good thing is, is that God has given us a way, right? Given us a way out. And uh, confession is, is, is part of that. Confessing all these things and, and, and saying, hey, God, you know, this is true of me. And, and confessing it to other people, too. And say, hey, this is true of me, and, and I could use your help. I think it's an important step when we talk about bad habits, uh, to, to practice this, this thing of confession. Here, here, here we have, it says, forgiveness is offered to us and, and he is faithful to forgive us. So here, here's what's great about that is that no matter what you got going on in your life, God already knows. And his message to you is, come to me, confess, and I can actually do something with it at that point. See, forgiveness is offered, it's a gift right? It's something that we can lay claim to uh, because he's already offered it to us. Here's what I I want you guys to do today. I want you to write a prayer of confession, just something to God saying, you know, hey, Lord, you know, this, I have this struggle and, and, and write about what it means to you and, and how it's been difficult in the past and, and whatever it is, I just want you to write out a prayer to God to sort of meditate on that and uh, to find hope and con- uh, forgiveness for the future, right? The, the point is not to, to dwell in our shame, right? Confession isn't about shame. It's actually about hope. And God wants to use the truth of his word to cleanse us, our heart, our sin, to get rid of it so that we can move on in our life. And I think it's a really important practice. So I want you guys to do that. Um, another thing just to mention is that I think sometimes we fall into the trap of thinking that our sin is too big for God to handle. And uh, if you read the scriptures, what you'll find is that nothing, not a single thing is too big for God. Let me pray for you. Lord Jesus, thank you so much that uh, you love us, that you offer your forgiveness without condition, uh, that we can come to you. Lord, you already know. You already know the stuff in our heart. You already know the junk in our life. You already know the hurts and, and the past that we have. Um, And Lord, you're extending your hand of love and forgiveness to us so that we can find healing and move on and look for a brighter tomorrow. Uh, We we love you. We thank you for that. We thank you for the hope that comes with knowing that we don't face rejection, that we don't face judgment, but instead we face a loving Savior who knows us by name. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.